Hello everyone, this is Richard from the Mile 62 channel. Uh, today I'd like to give you a, a tour of my gym. I've, um, I've updated it recently and uh, you may have seen some, some snapshots of it during some of my videos. But today I'll go over what, I, what all I've got and uh, show you around a little bit. So um, this is my garage gym. I have a um, sit up bench. I also have a lower back, a stamina bench which is very useful for lower back. You can also do push-ups and variable exercises. I have um, a boxing gym. So I have an Everlast rack uh, with a speed bag. Um, and then I also have, I'm really excited about this. I've had uh, bags in, in the past, but I have a new Everlast bag that has um, the gel pads in it. So when you, it um, will help absorb the punches this is an 80 pound bag. And of course when I'm using it, I'm using um, special gloves. Um, my son uses it also with bunching, um, just regular uh, pad gloves. Um, have to weight it down. All of my, you'll see here, I use some of my gopher uh, uh, bumper plates. Um, I bought these um, during the last year. I've got many different sizes. Um, I really consider them one of the best in the business in uh, weights. Um, they're really nice because you can drop the bar and it'll just bounce off the ground. Really done it. Used a lot in uh, um, CrossFit competitions. Ab, ab uh, bench here. Great for pull-ups and working the abs. Um, here you'll see a pretty extensive running shoe collection. I've got um, all my trail shoes here and some road shoes, mostly Ultra and Hoka. Um, I keep a lot of most of them in the garage and. Uh, some in house as well. Dumbbells. I've got a, 40, a couple 40 pounders here. Um, just, just all kinds of weights. Um, a lot of kettlebells. I do a lot of kettlebell routines several times per week. Uh, dumbbell rack. Uh, ski ERG, which I've got here. Um, I did a, recently did a video on that, so please check it out. It's one of my most expensive pieces of equipment. Great for upper body especially for uh, uh, using uh, trekking poles and uh, ultras. Um, here I've got a gopher axle bar. It's got a um, very wide grip. It's different than um, traditional uh, Olympic bars. It really works out your forearms. It's, it's, it's uh, a little more challenging than a workout, especially when you're doing curls or deadlifts. It's a shorter bar. And I've got some fixed uh, curl and tricep bars. These are nice because I don't have to change the weights. You know, I got a 40 pounder here, a 30 pounder here. I get these from Golfer as well. Uh, great, I love them. Um, the weight doesn't move around. It's fixed, it's molded on. Plan to get more of those. Got a 10 pound uh, medicine ball, 15 pound medicine ball. I use those for shoulder workouts, ab workouts. I've got a bosun ball for um, building up my ankle strength. 20 pound uh, weighted bar here. Use this for my abs. My son also uses it for bench press. I keep my uh, GORUCK uh, pack out of here on my, um, on my um, squat rack and bench rack. Uh, like I said, go for weights. Um, also got their best um, Olympic bar. It's about a $300, about $250 bar. The, one of the best ones they make. It's got real nice bearings on it. Just, I just really try to buy the best quality because you really can tell the difference. <clears throat> my Rogue bike, my Rogue Echo bike. Uh, this is a heck of a workout. I've talked about this uh, often. It's got um, a computer on there. It doesn't sync with Strava, but um, I manually input the workouts into Strava. Um, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the tour. Take care.